Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique All Games Rain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Monday painting video. What's the Monday painting video? What's it all about? Well, the Monday painting video is a painting video, but the model or models in question are voted on by you guys. So from last week's Weekly Wednesday, which is a weekly q and I show you guys a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint from Monday's painting video. In the event of a tie, I do a dice roll. So for everyone that voted, thank you very much. And for all my regulars here, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so as you would have seen from the thumbnail, there was one vote for the Hive Tyrant, one vote for the Tyranid Warriors, and another vote for any of the Tyranids. There was a few other votes cast as well. So basically these guys have uh, two votes apiece. So I was umming and harring if I should do a dice roll or just go for it and try and get the whole lot of them done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for it and get the whole lot of them done. So, because I use a lot of contrast paints on my Tyranids, because I find it a lot easier, especially when you're having mess ranks of them, I'm going to start with uh, some contrast paint. I'm going to come back to you in a second when I've finished getting set up. And so, the first colour I'm going to start with is Talisar Blue. And with this Talisar Blue, I'm going to come in and get all of the these the color paste on his back, all of his dorsal fins, all of the all of this stuff. I'm going to get all of it and do it on the warriors the same. So I think I think I can get them both done in this time. There's enough time for me to get both done. So I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of that. I'm going to come back to you when it's done. Right, so now I'm going to come in with some Griffin Hound Orange. This is going to be a, a little bit of a, a weird way, a weird thing I'm going to do now. Because the two mid bits that I've painted already have been like uh, the Gargoyles, the Brood Lord. And Lictor, the old Lictor. So none of them had big heavy guns like this. So I'm I'm gonna come in with the Griffin Hound Orange and I'm gonna just really be crazy here. And I'm going to paint the barrel of said guns. And then the contrast blue is still a bit wet there, which is good, so it mixes together. Give me a nice little wet blend between the actual Model on the gun. I'm also going to do his, his horns he has here. And do his big horn as well. And, uh, yeah, and I'm going to do the same thing on the on the warriors. On their guns and on the horns on the back of their head. Right, so next I'm going to come in with some Doom Flying Magenta. And this lovely colour is going to be for all the skin, all the fleshy parts of the skin. It's a really nice colour because if it mixes, if there's still a bit of the blue contrast that's wet, it will mix it and make it be a nice purpley colour and blend the two colours nicely between, yeah, between them where they're meant to be. See the purple one on the bit there? It's lovely. So I'm going to crack off on camera, oh, sorry, go off camera and crack on with the rest of this. I'm going to Get all the skin done on him and on the warriors. Right, so now I'm going to come in with some Eldari Emerald. 
and I'm going to pick out well, he has a few interesting parts to pick out so what I'm going to pick out is the last whips yeah this big gun is the gun there's a little bit on the chin here and he has his little psychic pack pouch thing on the back I'm going to pick all those bits out on him and his bone sword actually and their bone swords and mass whips and their tongues so I'm going to crack on with those and I'll come back to you again right so next I'm going to come with some droopy violet and this is only for the hive tyrant So what I'm going to do with the Druki Violet is I'm going to slap it all across his brain. Is that sticking out? So next I'm going to come in with some Skeleton Horde. I'm going to drop in the brush. I'm going to come with Skeleton Horde. I'm going to get like these bits here. To put on the gun. There's a little bit hanging off the sword there. <clears throat> these hoofs. And the claws hanging out there. The back of his, I missed a bit of his leg there. Look. But say one thing. One thing with contrast paint. Sometimes when you're painting it, you'll have it'll start pulling in one area, and you only know it says it's dry, and you'll see little white bits coming through, which is not an issue for the next stage because you can easily hide that. But when it swings like that, and you missed it. <laughs> you have to go back and do it again. I noticed on one of the Tyranid Warriors as well, the little calipace bit um, along his back. There's little bits of white coming through the edges, but it's, again, it's not a big issue because I can sort it out afterwards. So I'm going to get on with the skeleton horde. I'm going to give their teeth a go as well. Like I've missed the top of his lip. So I'm going to give their teeth a go as well. The skeleton horde. I'm going to come back to you then after that. Alright. So. At this stage. We are actually battle ready. What does that mean for everyone that's new? I can put it on the table and away we go. Now I take it beyond battle ready standard. And what, that, what I do there. Is. I will, this could be a dry brush, an edge highlight, a wash, um, technical paint, a bit of everything. So I'm going to let this contrast paint finish drying because there's a few bits that are still wet. So this is a seven, seven and a half minutes so far. It's taken me probably about, maybe about an hour, an hour and a half. Maybe not even that long to do all three Toon Warriors and get the Hive Tyrant to this stage. So again, I'm going to leave that to dry for a little while, and we'll come back with the first the first bits to take it beyond that red standard. Right. <clears throat> so now the com now the um, contrast paint's dried, we can have a good look here. So I've been knocking the camera. I think that blade looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wow! I like the I like the, uh, the bone work. That is absolutely fantastic. Hoofs look nice. All the rest of it looks amazing. So now what I'm going to do, the horn looks a bit weird. I missed a little bit there. On top of his head. That's not too bad though. Now what I'm going to do, to take it beyond battery standard, I'm going to come in with a dry brush. Now this is a cheap makeup brush from Primux or Pennies, whatever you call it. And I'm going to grab a bit of tissue. I've actually got three colours on my wet palette. I've actually got um, Love and Blue, Screaming Skull, and Troll Slayer Orange. So I'm going to start with some Love and Blue. Some on my brush, some on the tissue I'm going to come in and I'm going to dry brush it 
order the blue section. Don't panic because Lophone Blue is a layer paint, so it will go on bright and dye itself down. You can already see the difference on the two sides. Any bits of white that I missed at this stage with the uh, blue contrast, I can easily just go over it with the Lophone Blue and get rid of it. I'm going to go off camera and do the rest on him and the rest on the other guys. Right, so the next colour I'm going to come in with is some Troll Slayer Orange. And I'm going to really water it down on the wet palette. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come in, see I've really watered it down along these spiky ridges. Really see it at the moment, but I'm going to give it a couple of passes. I'm going to come in, let's give it a couple of passes here and there on the gun. Crack on with the rest of that and did the two warriors as well. Right, so now I'm going to come in with some screaming skull and dry brush this across the entire skin. So all over here. So I really want to define those muscles out. Again. Screaming Skull is a layer paint, so it will go on bright and dull itself down, there's no panic. I'm going to go off camera and do the rest. Okay, so now the last colour I'm going to use is Nibbler Green, it's a dry paint. <clears throat> it's a really weird looking paint when you first look at it, because it's not... Really, a, it doesn't really look like a paint, but it comes out normal like a paint. I'm going to put it onto my tissue, and here's what I'm going to do dry brush all of the green. I'll probably um, do a little bit more on these barbs as they dry, just to keep doing a, a bit more, just to brighten up even more. All of this gun stuff. And his sword. So it's going to be a lovely one to do. I'm actually just dry brush it along the edge. That's all I'm going to do. So it gives me that lovely green look. And 
I'm going to go off camera and do the rest of the other guys as well. And these are done. Absolutely fantastic. I really love the way the swords come out. Really, really well. Gee, fantastic. The only thing I've got left to do is get some black contrast paint and go around the, the base trim. It's looking at the swarm lord over there. I need to do the same thing to him as well. So that's the only thing I have to do with these guys. So a massive, massive thank you to everyone that voted. If you voted for something you didn't win, don't panic because everything has to be voted. I'm really delighted that I got two units painted. Units Hood Warriors and Hive Tyrant. Says he lovely. If you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube share this video with more and more people, which makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. Any comments or anything you want to say about these guys, chuck them below, as always. I'm going to bring you down and show you some pretty pictures. But until next time, guys, thank you for voting. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.